In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner. And it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. Hey V, I heard... well... your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy... for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure. Got a feeling Vic's had enough of me as is. Don't be mad at him. His chakras are all blocked up today. Plus, he's had too much coffee. And let me guess. My aura is sputtering. Mm-hmm. Afraid so. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but he found the courage to bet on himself. After, I brought him here. Ah, that's See more that? like it. Air. to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. Near on unachievable these days. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm 
calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. see each other again. What? You know, fine. Fuck no, off. No, no, not like that. Make up your mind. Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay. Then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. I'm gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. I'm gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... I just want to be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? No. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear. You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower. Or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Well, okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you.
Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Okay. Definitely Johnny. He is one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The Lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Uh huh. V, have you been keeping something from me? Huh? What? Why? You're making a strange face. I, uh. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. Okay. And Johnny's? The moon. Well, it doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. You've scared me, you know that. Didn't think anything could scare you. Hey, we're here to help, okay? Come on, everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Um, I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Look what the the cat whole clan knows in. we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <coughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dink convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is the to help is you out. Solved. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? 
And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date? Completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. we only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Construction site. What do we got for security? Old place spiked? Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Uh-huh. What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower. Then go on to Mikoshi. Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am. Something I need to know about. It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. Pan Am thinks so, too? You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Out uh, past the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Cause I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just Fellas. it. Fellas. We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold, isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. 
Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. But how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though, we still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. You think you know all you need? Hey, Dakota. I'm V. We've never met. Chamai, brother. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Not at all curious what I'm going in for? You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That is the path to a lasting relationship, brother. Everything is ready. You can go in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. Prefer nobody knew I was there. Your tech up to it? Up to it, he asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Ice-filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors, brother. your mind's defense system slowly give in. Saying, the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside? With reality? You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Let me get this straight. I mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. It's all just an experiment to you. 
Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. The Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Damn shame, really. You're out to prove him wrong here, in person. But all you got is me. I think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all. Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Speak for yourself. Didn't you cheat death? Is this what you believe? Your code, your consciousness. AIs live beyond reality's boundary. They live forever. But we are not immortal. You will begin to understand, but only in Mikoshi. Why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that. Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Hmm. Guess that'd be... Human of me. Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. Is there anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated? I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi. Swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny would like the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. <laughs> Hardly. Doubt you first gab with those constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. I hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? I can already tell you I saw the way to Tokyo will be back in every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then... Ugh. We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked him when the temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? 
Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. Saul, you wanted a word? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. You're your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to the family. Our newest Aldecaldo! Come on, V! Welcome to the clan! Your peace. The most dysfunctional Jack, it's incredible. See? He likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Makoshi, we'll celebrate it. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll some basketball and to you. glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you alright? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jack? Not too tight. Are you alright? Jack is a distinction. Honor to get it. Man, it's prima that. But it's got that weight. It took me under your wing. Give me your trust, and tomorrow, the op I'm taking you on, might not come back. Hit me all of a sudden. A second ago. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility? That's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Bobby said there's... <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. All right. That's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Take her down. I get picky about parking. Mm. 
You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Uh, why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails. During the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day, we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Rates like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. And? They right? They are, but nobody knows what comes next. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of Raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Pan Am will lose her chance of taking the helm. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways... Blame falls on Pan Am. She's the one brought me into the fold. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota seems to be feeling generous Ooh, today. Uh, mad at me? I once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie, looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember this smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. 
Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow? No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. Pan Am and me. If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but, oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Darn. So nice here. Mm-hmm. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you... I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll leave my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them. Who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'll be right there with you tomorrow. Whatever happens, we'll be together. We'll manage. I don't know what I would do without you. You do what you needed to. What do you know? V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting. Freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. 
Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. It best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Fluids checked. Top down. Gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we'll need to break camp in a rush. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? Tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Besides, I wouldn't have slept a wink before a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack a Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Bobby, do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Pan Am. 
Did you check if all systems are operational? Checking. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. Can we fix it? Right the hell now! Shit! Something's busted! All the circuitry is dead! I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones! On the drones! You deal with the Panzer! No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Got that power Shot, you put it out! Get the fuck out if not! Christ, I'm out here by the Panzer! What's the hold up? Switching to emergency power. A couple of systems will be analog, but she should be mobile. So, they go away from it. Now it's the fluid headed straight forward. Keep on time, Bobby. Can you hold them off? Do I have a choice? Look up to yourself. Oh, Bobby's captains. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Okay, Bobby. The Panzer's moving again. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Finally. I was starting to miss you all. I got just one son of a bitch left, and he's about to get a- Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby! Bobby, do you read? We have to go I'm and- sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The pans are beat. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Oh, Hang on yourself. Motherfucker! No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damaged. So much shit is in this already. We can do this. Good work. Go right through the gate, V. We're in! That's a mistake. V, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Copy that. There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the circ from there. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the circ. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here! Fucking Militech is not letting up! Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? I'm gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working! Prepare for takeoff! Watch out! Coming from the right! How are we doing, Mitch? 11%! Shit! Can't you speed it up? Our hands are tied. you as much time as we can. Much obliged. We'll keep watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. The military. We have to intercept them. Before it reaches the others. Cutting through slow work, but it'll get done. Where are you all at? The gate is landed firm in the 
going on here? Bang! Militech throwing more armor at us! Fight a ton! Face out of our hair! Jesse! They might actually pull this off! Oh my. That's what I call a true woman. Mitch, is everything alright? Present rumble, yeah, but all seems good. Oh shit! We did it! They're smoldering wrecks! We did that! Saul, Mitch, head back your way. After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. It's all right. Harold, you and Cassidy keep us secure. You got it. Mitch, you're coming with us. Man, yes, man. No time to lose then. Let's go. Okay. I'm putting it on autopilot and disconnecting. Okay. Is everything all right? You seem quiet. Bob and Teddy are dead. And it's my fault. Teddy and Bob, they knew the risks, V. Everyone knows. So do I. And if you'd known how this would turn out... I'd do it all over again. For anyone in the clan. Saul told me you brought in some help from Akoshi. Someone from the outside. Mm -hmm. Alt. And who is that? Kind of funny story, actually. Alt is Johnny's ex. You're joking. God's honest truth. But nobody moves to the net quite like she does. She's our only way into Mikoshi proper. Johnny, Alt, keeping it all in the family, I see. Do you trust her? No. It's not like I've got any other option. Just gotta hope Alt isn't hiding anything. Doesn't got other plans. Why? You worried? I trust you. That's all I'll say. By extension, I trust this alt won't pull any rugs out from under us. Things will work out. They gotta... come too far for him not to. Farther to our Osaka Tower. Not far. It should be easy flooding from here. Quick feet, come on. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We well, have no what's idea. The issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. That's it. Things have spiraled out of control. Need to call this off. We can't back out now. Nobody's backing out of anything. You do your thing, I'll keep Militech at bay. Damn it, Mitch! They're gonna kill you! They're gonna- Not today, Pan. I'm feeling lucky. Carol, I'm heading your way! Hang in there! Saul! You'll owe me a beer after this! They're gonna- We can't let all this be for nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into us. Once Mitch? you're mobile, I'll follow. I'm Secure here. Rear. V. Safe and sound. Be careful. Please. I can handle myself, man. Likewise for you. Get some Akoshi in one piece. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Please, no more car cups, please. engine overheated and choked when drill bit met reinforced concrete. Bypassing should override the emergency system shutdown. Lift it. I'll use my personal link if needed. Moment of truth. Here it goes.
Sam, everything all right? Pan Am, talk to me. No, 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 Pan Am. I'm here. I'm a bit bruised is all. I've been doing worse. Pan Am. For a sec, I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. Saul. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. If you stop to think, it's incredible we happen to be standing right where the AHQ bomb left a huge crater. Then, isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. See something there. The guards need our attention first. V, take care Don't of the like sentries. This. Not Sign one bit. If you can. You thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till. Jeez, I'm trying to make no chooms. <laughs> That's all. squad there. Convoy security, maybe. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drilled through. All units are on alert, which means instant cutoff of all passages, like rats in a cage. Mikoshi, a ways to go still? No, the lab is in the next sector over, but we need to get there first. Where exactly are we? Plant and services level, and it's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Are there any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personal there. Okay. Better hope there's a port for Alt Shard, too. I'm sending you the shortest route. We need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. Hello? Where are you? Alt, the shard's in. Yes. How much time do you need to... It is done. Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going. It's Mikoshi. Your paddle lies open. Thank you, Alt. Are you certain? You good? I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. Something happened here. We'll soon find out what. Mikoshi is near. Probably didn't even realize she had cut through their ice. 
no mercy, it seems. Gotta remember what mercy is to show any. Steps is all that separates you from the Koshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecaldos always keep their word. We have a room at the partition, then we'll be at the core. You can do this. to kill Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk, but I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, got you. Silverhand triumphs. Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. Move to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Come on. Lean on me. I can do this. No. Jackie! We're gonna be up to our necks in juicy contracts, brother. I can feel it. Where are we? Is it a dream? It'll 
be all right, V. You'll see. Arasaka do this? Hit you with Soul Killer. How's that even possible? You died. Misty knew. Misty always knows. Thank you. Amigo. You really got no idea who I am? Mano. How the hell are you and Makoshi? Hit the major leagues, Mano. Run in with dicks. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. A heap of partly gold plated cool. The fatty. Where are we? Is this a dream? It'll be alright, V. You'll see. What is up with this? Why are you acting so weird? Misty knew. Misty always knows. Jackie. Amigo. You really got no idea who I am? Mano. Jackie! Gonna be up to our necks in juicy contracts, brother. I can feel it. Where are we? Is it dream? It'll be all right, V. You'll see. Goodbye, old friend. Afterlife. See you there. Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask, what is it? Let us go and make our visit. Admit, you cobbled together a good plan. Been my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now, nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us? I'm not gonna lie. You best prepare your ass for the fucking kick of the century. Got no idea where you'll land after it, but sure hope it'll be far away from me. Alt? Alt! You here? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. You real? You hit me with Soul Killer? Without asking? It was the only way I could fulfill your request. Jesus fuck. I'd have liked a warning at least. Been a construct for just a few minutes and already no one gives a damn what you want. Welcome to the club, V. Do you still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What a 
about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. No. No way. That was not our deal. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with Alt fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her, whatever the hell that means. Jesus, to be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations, from the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No, we're left with fading memories. We're sharing a bed. Head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face, sun's heat on my shoulders. So take no. back your life, the six months you've got left. What's it like? You're on the black wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? So we find another way. Finding another way would mean making a deal with Sarka. I'll pass. There's really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Yes, I meant. I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here, for folks like us. Wrong city. Wrong people. Yet the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna become like you? I was a netrunner. I understood how to survive. I cannot speak for you. Beyond the black wall, dangers lurk. It is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither. Trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. 
You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. Yeah, we... We stick to the plan. Johnny, I'm sorry. of the annual budget of many a small country. Serves you right, sucker! Hustle field to be on your knees, huh? <laughs> Worry not on wash mats, as our wondrous lives in Night City won't change much, but when do they ever? We live midst dust and chrome, and midst dust and chrome we Now for some good news, and some bad news. Good Damn. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. And now you do? You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. It wouldn't be tearful. I know you. What I think of you now matters not at all. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew. You and I. Ask me then. Can't hardly wait. Get ready, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Should have done this long ago. Gotten some perspective. On the city. My life there. City of dreams. I'd gladly kick the balls off the idiot who thought that one up. Pan Am. After Makoshi. Everything there. I'm glad we made it. Here. Together. And that we're leaving. Together. Bid the city farewell. We won't see it again. Used to think of it as my city. Bonded together. I owned it, it owned me. Nothing to keep me there now, though. I feel the same way. What on earth was I thinking? Thought the city would help us see ourselves for who we were. Both of us. Yes, but damn it! It's like a damned dealer at a damned kabuki casino. And I went all in and I lost everything. Almost everything. Yes, I suppose you're right. We owe that shit all something. But we're getting out. At last. Placing our bets on something better, somewhere else. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Vic's drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. 
Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie. And the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway... Things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. <sighs> Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Just realized. Already bringing everything I could possibly miss. <laughs> You are a sweet talker, aren't you? <laughs> but it works, doesn't it? Say it. Say it works. It works. All too well. You're with me now. We will figure out and take care of that piece of shit in your head. I know. Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Mikoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses, toughened. Made almost fry-proof in Panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm, getting close. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time.
Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid in in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol? Heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move, before that storm finds us. set? Mm -hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't think it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't him when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. I'm returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. I'd be the same place on the other side, saving space, but you were different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns.
last chance. Nothing left to say. Start her up. The wheel is yours. Let's ride. Exactly what you want. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. Hey, V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. Wait, it takes off your shoulders. I, I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know that we had plans. Never realized how hardly an achieve would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. 
I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Here. I wanted to. Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. <laughs>